5.1, the graph of common functions. So as you've probably noticed already from opening up this worksheet, there's not much going on in this section. For this section, we're mainly going to talk about some common functions that are seen in algebra and upper level math courses and what to expect. So the first graph I want to mention is the constant function one that we've actually talked about before. The constant function is a function that is written by y is equal to a number. If I have this form y is equal to a number and nothing else, then I know my graph is a flat line. My second common function is a linear function. Again, something that we're familiar with. We spent an entire couple of sections talking about lines. As it turns out, every line that we've been uh, looking at was actually a linear function itself. The only exception being x is equal to a number, because that was a vertical line and not a function. Some that we're not as familiar with is this third one, the even-powered function. Well, an even-powered function has to form x to the n power. For example, you might say y is equal to x squared, or y is equal to 3x to the 6th power. That is an even power. Whenever I have a function like this, nothing more, so nothing like plus x or plus a number, then my functions generally look like, it almost looks like a u. In particular, it looks like a parabola. We are going to be talking about some even-powered functions a little bit further in the next couple of sections, but for this video, we're just identifying the common shape. If I move down to the second row, I have the odd-powered function, y is equal to x to the n, where n is an odd number. For example, y is equal to x cubed, y is equal to 7x to the fifth power. These are odd-powered functions. And usually an odd-powered function looks something along the lines of what I have here. Note that this is the basic odd-powered func odd -powered function, but some odd-powered functions might even look a bit different, but overall the same. For example, I might have an odd-powered function that looks like this. We can see that it has a bigger a hump and valley, but in the long term on the far left and the far right, I still have a similar behavior. For my fifth function, I have the square root function. That is functions that have the form y is equal to square root of a value. These tend to look like a half parabola or a half u turned sideways. Notice that here for my square root function, there's nothing on the left. Well, this is because we know that whenever I take the square root of a negative number, I get imaginary answers. I don't get real numbers. And then the last one I want to mention is the absolute value function, y is equal to absolute value of x. This one's a little bit special. And the way that a lot of people like to remember this is absolute value, v for value. These functions have the shape of a V in general. So these are six uh, common types of functions. Uh, I may ask you to identify these common shapes or do a quick matching. So these are good to keep in mind for our future sections.